Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to connect up your PS3 controller to a Windows machine so you can use it on the EPSXE emulator. So let me show you the controller now. So you should be seeing the controller right now. We've got a controller here, we've got a USB cable. You can connect to it wirelessly via Bluetooth if you want to. You can put this into syncing mode. I don't have Bluetooth, but the process is effectively the same. One little thing that you'll have to change, but you know, I'll mention that it's just during the driver installation. So if we just go to if we just search for game, if you type in game, this should come up. You want to go to set up USB game controllers. And if I plug this in, nothing's there currently, so there's no game controller being plugged in. Uh, if I plug this in, the lights will come on, and as you can see, it's detected here. If I go to properties, and I, you know, move the sticks, press the buttons, nothing is actually getting triggered. Because it doesn't really work unless you essentially make it as if it's an Xbox controller. Luckily for us, there's some software that can handle that for us. So if you Google SCP Toolkit and just go to the first link, I'll provide you know you know links in the description. Go to download, wait for this to you know start downloading, and yeah, so I'm actually gonna cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. So once you've got that, the only thing that we need to download, and now what you want to do is double click the setup. Go to, I'm going to go to repair. You will not get this because I've already got it installed. Actually, I'm going to go to modified. So what you'll have is a screen similar to this. And what you want to do is leave everything as default. What's checked, leave that as checked. And you'll also have to select a place to install it as well on your hard drive somewhere. Just put in the regular program files. That is fine. Or on some other hard drive. But like I said, You'll have it slightly different, but that's because I've already got it installed. But once you've installed this, it might take a little longer because it's you know you're doing it for the first time. You want to open this up. So SCP Settings Manager. Forget that. We got it right here. Sorry. So if we just. Why has that not opened up? I'm saying it's charging, that's fine, but that's not what we want. We want the other one. Allow access. But this isn't. Let me exit this. Let me exit that. Let me relaunch it up. Second, SCP. That's the one. Driver install. So this will probably actually automatically open for you anyway, because you'll be installing it for the first time. If it doesn't, that's what you need to do. Okay, so from here, select whatever you're installing. I'm not installing a Bluetooth driver. If you are, select that. Select the dongle, whether it's built in or not. And I'm not installing DualShock 4 controller, you know, like a PS4 controller. If you are, feel free to do that and select the controller. All I'm installing is the DualShock 3 controller, which is the PS3 controller. And from there, you just need to select it. So you'll be here somewhere. Everything that's plugged in is here. So just make sure you select the right device or so PlayStation 3 controller. This is grayed out. If you are on Windows 7 or older, this will be an option and you need to click this otherwise it won't work. For Windows 8 and newer users, you'll be fine and you can't even click it, but that's what you would do. And click install. And just wait patiently, you know, however long it might take. And so it may take up to five minutes. It shouldn't take that long. But again, just wait till this bar has, you know, completed. And as you can see, this is already, you know, you know, disappeared here, but a controller will appear there again. So again, we've just got to wait patiently. And then we'll be able to run some EP, some PlayStation 1 games on our EPSXE emulator with a PS3 controller. Okay, so that's it. So once that bar is done, we it's all installed now. 
now if we go over here as you can see it says xbox 364 windows and it's you know connected as controller one which is pretty cool so now if we go and remember you can always sync it up using bluetooth as well the main step is you know getting these drivers installed go to properties and now if i move that as you can see it is registering all of the keys now so that's great we can close this down that just confirms that it's working close this down you can reopen it up and click uninstall if you want to well uninstall the driver for whatever reason now i'm going to open up epsxe one little step left go to config gamepads port one or port two if you have multiple controllers and now we just need to configure it so now we can do r1 first r2 triangle circle x square and now l1 l2 up left down and right And now let's just do select and start. Okay, so if you want to be able to use the analog sticks as well, just go to the dual analog mode and you can map the sticks. But considering PlayStation initially didn't have sticks and it's not a requirement for the games, and you know, I generally don't use them for the original PlayStation 1 game, I'm just going to stick with as it is, but that's what you would do. And you can, you know, apply some rumble as well. You can, you know, change all that stuff feel free to experiment and now click ok now let's run a game so let's go to run iso crash bandicoot and i'm just gonna i'll just click escape because i want to just load a state which puts me to the main menu and now we're gonna start game i'm gonna turn the volume down and i'm just gonna play the first level and just get all of the boxes and get the gem. So I'm just going to show you it working. So triangle, square, circle, and square do the same thing in Crash Bandicoot. One in the second one and the third one, circle was slide, and square was the spin. Let's get all the Wumpa fruit. So let's get rid of this little crab. Got rid of the second one as well. But you know, we're done now. So if you want to end the video and go ahead and play you know, whatever game, whatever classic game from your childhood you want to play, then go for it. If you want to, you know, watch me not die at all and get every gem, then feel free to watch. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I'm invincible now for a few seconds. More than a few, but not forever, though. Ah, uh, can't get stuck on those boxes. Because the main part is I'll get to here, then I'll run over here. And that's it. I just need to go back around, get some of the boxes that I missed. Due to you know the time constraint of the Aku Aku, there'll be another swan turtle here. You can tell I play this game a lot. Just creating you know set of videos I played it a lot just over the last couple of weeks, but in general I played it a lot as well. And let's just go around here. Let's double check that all boxes were destroyed. Yes, they were. And go back. Do the final jump, then destroy the last box, and then we've got the gem. Remember, in this Crash Bandicoot, we didn't even have the typical crystal system as we do later on. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume up because it's going to be like da da.
So there you go, that is it. That's how you set up a PS3 controller to your Windows machine so you can use it for EPSXE emulator, aka the PlayStation 1 emulator. That's it. Any questions, feel free to pop me a message.